Hello, how you doing? Praise the Lord. I'm back with you with part four of the real church of the Lord Jesus. Amen. We know we serve a true and mighty God that is high above all God. And truly, He is worthy to be praised. And truly, we magnify Him and we thank Him. And we give Him glory. For He is good and His mercy endures forever. Now, we're talking about the real church of the Lord Jesus Christ. And what does it mean to be part of a real church, part of a real ministry, be part of something that God is doing on the press of the earth? This is something that God has been doing through generation to generation, but some of us just haven't been tuned with God enough to be able to know what God is getting ready to do, especially in the end time, and especially in the season that we're in. Now, the real church. It's a real is a church that doesn't compromise its standard. Neither do it neither does it water down the gospel of Jesus Christ. The real church of the Lord Jesus Christ it stands for something. And it says what it means. The real church of the Lord Jesus Christ, they believe in something and they're willing to die for it. The real church of the Lord Jesus Christ does not live in fear. They don't live in unbelief. Neither do they perfect the fitness of the flesh. The real church of the, the, the real church of the Lord Jesus Christ is born of God. And God is their maker, God is their father. God is the Lord. And the real church of the Lord Jesus Christ know that Jesus is God. Manifest in the flesh and justified by the Spirit. Jesus is our Lord. He was God first before he even came down into the flesh to redeem all mankind. The real church of Lord Jesus Christ is a prosecuted church. It's a church that is willing to die for what they believe in. They're willing to stand for what they believe in. And they're willing to go all the way to the point if it take their life. The real church of the Lord Jesus Christ is faithful even until the death. They, they don't end their service early. They live for God. To the point they live for God until it's time for them to be offered up. What I mean is, they live in God, and when they die, they still in God when they die. That's no retirement plan. The real church of the Lord Jesus Christ, they don't compromise the word, they compromise the standard. And they don't compromise holiness. The real church of the Lord Jesus Christ is a holy church. A church that strives for holiness. That lives in holiness. That walks in holiness. And that is then that, that design that restore true, true holiness. The real church of the Lord Jesus Christ is a church that is sanctified and set apart from the world system. The real church of the Lord Jesus Christ lives by the word of God, stands by the word of God, breathes the word of God, and dies by the word of God. Because the Bible says in Matthew 4 and 4, Man should not live by blood alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. The real church of the Lord Jesus Christ just don't let anybody come and just preach anything to cause the church to go straight into the fire of the church. The real church of the Lord Jesus Christ don't believe in all this living in the kind of way you want to live, say what you want to say, and do what you want to do in the church, and still want to serve. We don't we don't we don't go there. In the real church of the Lord Jesus Christ, don't believe in letting sisters come in and and flunk their stuff and reveal their body part and still want to serve. We don't go with all of that. The real church of the Lord Jesus Christ 
don't raise up sisters. We raise up real men. Get mad, go ahead. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ is a church that believes in obeying God and standing on God's word. They believe in doing what God says do, move when God says move, and speak what God says. The real church of the Lord Jesus Christ don't believe in being unevenly yoked together with unbelief. Save and unsaved. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ, they believe in the real Holy Ghost. They believe in the real Jesus. They believe in the teaching of Jesus. They believe in what is right. And the church of the Lord Jesus Christ is a Holy Ghost filled community that believe in, believe in walking in truth and in love. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ don't believe in division or heresy. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ does not fulfill the lust of the flesh, but it fulfills the will of God. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ don't believe in playing with God. They don't believe in being a hypocrite either. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ believe in being true to the core. No matter what situation they is. They believe in being true and dedicated to the wise God, the master of the universe, the savior of the body, the living word, the living word, God, the Lord Jesus Christ, the great I am, the prince of peace, the real church. Believe in being on the move. If you want to be part of the real church, you can be part of it. If you're not part of it, then repent and do away with your wicked ways and come on and get right with God and be part of the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, I come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I ask you right now that you will move by your power, Lord, that you will touch each and every one that is listening by the way of YouTube and those that are listening by any means that's it. Father, I wish you to move by your power. I wish you to touch right now. Lord, begin to move by your power. Begin to move by your anointing at this very hour. We begin to touch lives. Begin to touch sick bodies. Lord, begin to touch confused minds in the name of Jesus. Lord, begin to open up the eyes of those that need to hear the truth, know the truth. Lord, and engraft them with the engraft the word of God. Father, let not their lives be the same for this day for them. And Father, we bind up every spirit of witchcraft, hex, and spells right now. Father, we charge the atmosphere with your glory and your power and your anointing right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, as I stretch towards my hands, Father. Father, let your power begin to vibrate throughout this block. In the name of Jesus. Father, may your name be lifted up. May your name be glorified. May your name be exalted above everything. But that the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall be blessed. Father, and heal right now. Father, you said, by your stripes we are healed. Lord, you say you sent your word and healed them. Whatever the situation may be, God, touch wherever they may be, where they may be at, wherever country or state or town they may be. Father, sing your word of grace right now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. May God keep you remember. Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to anybody. Now you go and be blessed in Jesus' name.